very good morning students this is a short video okay from journal anatomy and this comes under the chapter blood vessels okay the name of this video okay i am going to discuss in this video is about the arterial anastomosis and that to bit uh, the precapillary arterial anastomosis before a artery ultimately terminates into the capillary it is called as arterioles as you must be knowing and just at the level of arterioles these vessels which are adjacent arterioles they form an anastomosis with each other and about that we are going to learn in this short video precapillary arterial anastomosis now the vascular anastomosis is defined as communication between the neighboring blood vessels so let us see what is the vascular anastomosis you will come across this term vascular anastomosis again and again and this means that it is a communication or joining of one vessel with that of the other vessel which are running close to each other or they are in neighborhood okay and this kind of the communication between the blood vessels it is of three kind the first kind of this is the arterial anastomosis it means the communication or the joining of one arteriole with that of uh, one artery with that of the other artery takes place that means this communication is between the arteries okay between the arteries and this communication between the arteries is called as arterial anastomosis similarly a communication is there between the veins Uh, which are running together so it is called as venous anastomosis and the venous anastomosis is much more frequent in comparison to the arterial anastomosis as we will see arterial anastomosis is found at certain places in our body but venous anastomosis is much more frequent then there may be a communication it is arterio venous anastomosis in a special condition sometime a communication takes place um, between the artery and vein but at a lower level i mean to say at a microscopic level that means between arteriole and veinole and this is called as arterio venous anastomosis we will learn about the arterial anastomosis we will also learn about the arterio venous anastomosis okay now in this video we will only learn about the arterial anastomosis and now let us come to the arterial anastomosis which is a communication between the adjacent arteries okay at the microscopic level or at the necro naked eye level okay that is macroscopic level in many tissues of body there occurs the union of branches between two or more arteries which are supplying the same region when the arteries they are running in the same region and they can communicate with each other or they can join with each other with their branches okay and this is called as arterial because this communication is between the adjacent arteries branches of adjacent arteries hence it is called as arterial anastomosis okay and this kind of the arterial anastomosis can be even seen by the naked eye means they are quite uh, by the anastomosis is between quite the big arteries okay which can be seen by the naked eye okay naked eye for example the anastomosis around the joint if you have read some joint then you must have of the limb then you must have learned that there is an anastomosis around that joint of the branches of the arteries which are crossing to that joint okay for example the anastomosis around the elbow you must have learned you must have learned the anastomosis around the arteries which are crossing to the knee joint ankle joint or the wrist joint okay A large blood vessels they will form an anastomosis are also at the base of the brain and 
this anastomosis at the base of the brain is very important and it is called as circle of willis where the branches of the vertebral artery and that of the branches of the internal carotid artery they will form an anastomosis in the similar way there will be the anastomosis hmm, with the neighboring arteries which are running in the intestine okay similarly hmm, there are the anastomosis with the arteries which are running in our lip upper lip and lower lip and this is also provides the lot of the blood to our lips okay those so this is an another anastomosis between the branches of the facial artery now uh, which is in the face and then you if you have completed your dissection of the upper limb hand dissection then in the hand also there is an anastomosis between the arterial branches superficial palmar arch and the deep palmar arch they as they are similarly in the plantar arch in the foot also so there are various places where you can see the arterial anastomosis but they are, can be seen by the naked eye but at many places the arteries the anastomosis okay which is not at the microscopic or by you cannot observe they are at a very microscopic level okay and this kind of the anastomosis is usually before the arteriole or terminal arteriole uh, meta arteriole divides into the capillaries that means it breaks up into the capillary plexus just before it when it breaks up into an capillary plexus these kind of the arterioles they will form an anastomosis uh, along with uh, adjacent arterioles so this is the anastomosis between the terminal arterioles with each other and this is called as the precapillary anastomosis which cannot be seen by naked eye because the diameter is arteriole is quite hmm, small okay now here you can see in this theoretical diagram a precapillary arterial anastomosis you can see this is a capillary plexus this is an another capillary plexus and this was formed by the arteriole okay coming from here this is an another arteriole neighboring arteriole coming and forming the capillary plexus after capillary plexus this venules will drain into the vein now just before the capillary plexus okay which will supplying to the neighboring tissues of the body there's two adjacent arterioles will usually join with each other in most of the places of our body this kind of anastomosis is seen so the arterioles they join with each other and this type of the communication between the adjacent arteriole just before they divide or before they form the capillary plexus is called as precapillary arterial anastomosis so where i am moving my pointer this is that precapillary arterial anastomosis so this um, this arterial anastomosis through which the blood can circulate okay and this kind of circulation through that of the anastomosis is called as collateral circulation now we will learn why there is a collateral circulation or why there is a precapillary arterial anastomosis in most of tissues of our body now let us see this precapillary arterial anastomosis which provides the anastomosis between the adjacent arteriole okay it provides an alternate route okay for the blood to reach the tissue say for example these are the three arterioles which are breaking up into capillary plexus in within the wall of the intestine for example here or any other organ it is simplified because this capillary plexus are not on the surface of organ they are very minute okay about 6 to 8 micron in size and they are inside the wall of the organ okay just for simplicity i have drawn it here outside it okay and just before they break up into the capillaries these arterioles they join with each other okay for the collateral circulation and these are the precapillary arterial anastomosis in these are useful Oh, very much useful because if there is a blockage okay or compression is there on any of the arteriole so the blood cannot go hmm, 
towards the capillary plexus of its corresponding capillary plexus then what will happen the blood from the adjacent arteriole will come here and will go into the capillaries of the blocked artery so this will provide the tissue okay the blood for that tissue okay so this tissue which was to supplied by this artery Uh, this capillary plexus will not die where the arteriole is blocked so thus it prevents the death of the tissue supplied by that blocked artery this is very much important i'm mean, say very significant importance of formation of the um, pre capillary arteries okay now i hope that you must have understood what is a pre capillary hmm, uh, arterial anastomosis and what is its utility thank you very much for watching this video